Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. We are very much neck deep in um, the asphalt mines. We're looking for a for night vision goggles. We're on the lookout for some night vision goggles for a very specific purpose. We haven't found them yet. Um, you know, obviously. Otherwise, I wouldn't. I would have left probably already. And um, also, we are just looking for nice trinkets and treasures and all manner of goods and, you know, the the standard affair for Cud. And we're looking also not to die, but we're getting pretty close to the end, quotation marks, of uh, Asphalt Mines. At least the end of what I care to, you know, engage with for now. We're meeting Cragbench, apparently. Really not a huge fan of that. Yeah, they actually hit us with a boulder. That hurts. Ouch, that smarts! Okay, they are dead. We got 500 XP for that, though. It's quite nice. Actually, a, a Cragbench wouldn't be a bad ally. Let's see if we can't make friends with one. Uh, where is our proselytize? Seven? Unconvinced. Okay, well, you have, you know, angered me, to be honest. Actually, let's swipe their boulder out of their hand. Get that boulder out of your hand. Okay, we're gonna rest up. There's a crab friend. I say friend, but they are dead. There's another crab friend. There's another boulder. Only visible because they were on fire, I think. We're gonna go ahead and prosthetize them as well. I say it as well, but you know, at all. We failed. Swipe them. Dazed. Oh god. Um, breathe ice. That's not really working too well. Uh, we're on... Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and stunning force them. I don't really like where we're at. Swipe. There we go. Okay, managed to get all our health back. We still have Cragmensch on this floor. God damn. No, I'm not a huge fan of the Cragmensch we're having to fight. They're also, they seem to be fairly resistant to our proselytization attempts. Proselytize, nope. Well, if you resist the proselytization, you get the gas. Okay. Proselytize seems to come back really quick. I'm actually very surprised about that. I thought it was one of those very high, uh, high cooldown things. Okay. Yep, we are... There's another crag. Unconvinced, huh? Gas! Gas and Phelps! Swipe them. Blech. Well, Cragmensch, I think, marks the beginning of the difficulty curve of Asphalt Mines. Oh, God, another one. How does they... How can they see me, honestly? Please, please be proselytized? No. I'm enjoying our gas strat. It works well, you know. This is a pretty good build, all things considered. I do wish that it would work a little bit better. It's not as good as a like a high strength, um, what you call it, uh, bludgeoning build, cudgel build. Oh ho 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 ho! Why? Why do we have this very tough? Clo frozen clone of sad Amos. Now, I'm not saying we can't take them. I am saying, however, that I don't really want to try. I'm just wondering if maybe we can shoot them through the glass. 
I think we can. Because uh, luckily for us, the lasers go through glass. So we can actually shoot them through that barrier. Can we please just hit the pig? Now I could accidentally break them open, in which case we, we're gonna have to deal with that. Can we do like, uh... Okay, we are hitting them. We are doing some nice damage to them, but we're also hitting that vent, which is keeping them encased. I'm not a huge fan of that. Fire snow, you really gotta, do you really gotta? I'm doing something important here. Uh, they are injured. Oh God, we have released them. Let's uh, make sure we have some freeze grenades on us and keep them frozen. Can we unlock? God damn, that is so frustrating. Okay, we're gonna make sure our gun is fully locked and loaded, wounded. Wounded. Really hoping we get that weapon off them. They, they actually have a really nice weapon and I'm pretty sure it's a long blade. We're very close here. Badly wounded. Badly wounded. Badly wounded. Yes. Yes. 875. 875 experience. So now we're just gonna... Um, Hey there, it's future big simple several episodes ahead and doing some editing here I want to let you know about just how close we came to losing the rest of this episode um, I don't think I think it's fine to let you know that my uh, Shortcut keys for starting a recording is control uh, control home and my ending recording shortcut is control end and if you're doing force attacking in CUD, you have a, uh, well, you have a one in nine chance of pressing that button by accident. Actually one in eight, cause you never do control five because that's just the wait key, right? So um, I did in this instance, uh, while I was force attacking those glass uh, walls, hit the end key by accident and ended the recording prematurely. However, um, I also progressed to then accidentally start a new recording by pressing control home, um, which was control, was it now? Seven to continue force, uh, force attacking the walls. So we came like that close to just losing the rest of the episode. I thought that was funny and I decided to let you know that. Anyway, uh, enjoy the rest of the episode. Goodbye. Um, future big simple out. These vents, cause they're, they're creating that cryogenic glass. And it's going to make it difficult to get those goods. Now we're just going to wait, wait, like maybe 300 turns for that to dissipate. And now the only job, what? Oh, no, what? Ceremonial Vibro Kopesh is destroyed. God damn it. How did they get destroyed? All we get are some jeweled sandals for our troubles. Great. Wonderful. Well, that's really frustrating. I don't know how that happened. I don't, I do not understand why they got destroyed. I didn't think that something getting frozen would destroy them. So I don't know or think it's that necessarily. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Do you have any like experience with items getting destroyed by being frozen? I didn't think that that was a thing, but uh, you know, I'm willing to be wrong about this. Just sucks. I'm pretty sure the Vibro Kopesh is uh, a long blade. It might have been a short blade. I might be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure considering the fact that uh, the bear was in a dueling stance that they were using a long blade so well you never know that we might encounter another one of those it looks like we have a some kind of acid humor hanging around 
making a mess of things and there they are all right um let's do a stunning force i don't want them anywhere near me they are stunned uh reload wow made a save versus stun huh god damn that does so much damage i hate that so much i meant to do a precognition there like humors are just always always the biggest pain in my ass of all time uh we can't proselytize them they're slimes so i'm just gonna try and sprint away Okay, they are dead. Would you like to return? No. Oh God, that's such a pain. I hate humors. Humors are not my friends. Humors are the one reason I would consider trying to make friends with slimes. Cause then I just never have to deal with their BS ever again. Uh, well, we have a grenade launcher on the ground there. Let's go ahead and grab that before it gets destroyed. Actually, that's amazing because we, we could really use the bits on that. Um, let me see here. The T? No, what? I can never remember what the stupid button is for tinkering. I thought it was K, but it doesn't seem to be K for me. Uh, I want to modify our helmet with something. That was what we were doing. Um, we're gonna... Yeah, our electric snail shell with serene visage were with two-faced. Yeah. Can't tinker with nearby hostiles. I... I, well, okay, I guess there are some nearby hostiles You know what it's just easier to do it this way. How come we're not wearing it? We've been not wearing that for a while I think okay modify that with two-faced and We could modify it with woolly that wouldn't be a bad idea So we have an extra face I guess the serene visage um, is takes up a face slot. We can put on a silver ronder. There we go. An extra AV for our trouble, except I think it gets rounded down. Um, I may have modified this item fairly badly, actually. I don't know if it's actually very good for us. Uh, do we have anything? We have really not gotten a lot of like artifacts. Have we gotten many missile items? We've got this chain pistol, a laser pistol. We'll go ahead and disassemble those. Um, can we modify any of our stuff? We have four serrated blades. We could maybe modify our chain laser turret or laser gun. Woolly, we have woolly gauntlets and woolly chain gauntlets. That helps. We could maybe modify our chain boots with spring loaded. Bonus move speed. That wouldn't be bad, actually. Let's do that. So it gives us a little bit of bonus move speed. Our move speed is 108. It's not a lot, but it can make the difference because most things are at 100. So that means we're like slightly faster than most things. That makes getting away uh, a little bit nicer. It would have made that humor business a little bit less spicy you know i love some of those sound effects they're so crunchy you know caves of cut has very crunchy sound effects we fight the crab crab lose we fight the bears the bear lose we fight the insects insects lose we fight the humor, we lose. Every time. We're 18 strata. We have two more strata of this business before we can like call it for asphalt mines.
And I mean, like, you know, Asphalt Mines really is a roll of the dice. Sometimes you get very lucky. We did kind of get lucky with that, uh, the, the bear. Flying bear with the, the Kopesh. But um, we did get unlucky when it self-destructed. Okay, now we are in full asphalt business. So this is, this is when uh, we go from, like... Yeah, asphalt mines stops being, like kinda sticky and becomes full sticky I'm gonna stop auto exploring because it's actually end in ending up being taking longer than just like roaming around manually which is not the not really what you want you and I mean like I know it seems kind of spicy that like oh we've got fire snouts creating a fire in an asphalt pit that means we've got like sticky fire everywhere. It really isn't that bad. It like I've never died to fire damage in the asphalt mines. I've only ever died to humors. It's only ever the humors that kill me. What do we got here? Oh, 27 drams of wine. That's a nice find. Okay, go go down. Okay, so here we are. We've made it to hell. And you can see, I mean, just, you know, drink it in for a moment here. This is why we're we're not we're not messing with this. There's a lot of stuff here. Uh things get progressively interesting in terms of our gets, but I really don't want to play around with that. So instead, we're going to recoil out. We are going to recoil You know what? Honestly, I prefer to just walk out. And the reason being is uh, I'd actually like to go to the six day stilt. It's going to be more relevant to us than the grit gate. Um, like to sell some of our stuff, like to buy some stuff if we can, see if maybe our skim cell drafters have uh, renewed their goods. Probably they haven't, but you never know. We can always wait for them re to renew their goods. I think it takes about three days. But hey, we didn't die. I made it down to the spicy floor of asphalt. Mines. We almost died exactly once. Maybe twice. We did take on the bear, the flying bear. We have oil, we have wine. Okay. Uh, you know. I wonder if there's any unexplored uh, ruins that we have. This is why I really wish I could get some of my mods back because they would have, be, like I'd be able to find out if, um, you know, what ruins I've gone to. One of my favorite aspects of that mo uh, mod. I love it so much. I miss it, you know, I miss mods, but they they can just create horrendous problems for me. What I should do is like mod, basically arrive at a agreed upon modded version of Caves of Cud that I know works. Like the way I've been, um, I've been doing, does this do anything? Lightly damaged. Oh, apparently that almost got destroyed as well. Uh, the way I've been uh, working with Caves of Cud lately, my method has changed is that I basically um, back up the entirety of the Caves of Cud version that i'm working with so that if caves of could uh you know gets uh updates then it doesn't destroy my current save my current version and i don't have to deal with that whole business of you know uh, an entire playthrough is is gone and destroyed um that's happened too many times and i don't want that for myself anymore so now i i back up cud before progressing we could say uh sell that grenade launcher i really want these gems but we can sell this advanced toolkit that's a good amount of money we could sell our copper nuggets and actually uh we should probably just sell sell, uh, sell our silver nuggets as well because we're getting better stuff than that um I, we could sell some of our wine and i think that that is actually enough uh i, I had a file i could have collected some lava a nice amount of money okay so we're getting we're getting some some gems 
So uh, what, I, what I'm saying is that I could potentially um, try and modify or mod Caves of Cud and then just like find a working version of it that, you know, is good enough and then back up that. And then I would finally, finally not have to deal with, um, you know, Caves of Cud breaking my saves. It's, listen, the, the, the blame is never on, on uh, the good people working on the game because I know it's just an aspect of early access and, and things go wrong and, and major overhauls on Cud, it's going to break it no matter what. I'd rather they broke it and I got, you know, like some of the dramatic updates that we're seeing than anything else. Like I, 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 I'm not annoyed with Cud getting new updates. I'm annoyed with losing like 12 hour long playthroughs. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm picking my poisons here. Uh, I don't think that any of our skims. Oh yeah, they did restock their, uh, their wares. Okay. Do you, what do you have? Fitted with suspensors, nanon. What does that do? Tinkering three. Has a this weapon has a chance to dismember on penetration. Interesting. That's quite cool. Uh I think I know how to make love injectors, but that might be worth it. Um actually no, I can I can get that for pretty much free. Let's sell some of our compass bracelets. Can we... Oh, you won't repair that, huh? Uh... I could part... Oh, we have two nulling. Let's get rid of nulling. Oh, yeah, we have Tinker 2, don't we? I should absolutely um, start learning our Tinker 2 stuff. That would be highly worthwhile. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I don't know if there's anything else here that we need or can sell. We can sell some trade goods, I suppose, but I, I, I know it's counterintuitive, but I always resist selling those unless there's something really good. I'd rather sell like anything else first. Doopy 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 doop. Doop 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 doop. Um, what do we have? Can we? No. Rubber tree seed. Oh, we could make a rubber injector. We have lover's blossoms. We have quite a lot of lover's blossoms. We should make some lover uh, love injectors. Oh, we got some fry, uh, freeze dried horse rooms. There we go. I don't even think these are particularly valuable for like I, I've never made anything with fries dried horse rooms that I was like, oh boy, I I'm so happy I have that. That is like my favorite thing. Okay, hold on. Love injector. Uh, doesn't look like we have it actually. Do we have any bananas? Do we have some bananas? I don't think we do. I don't. I really don't want to buy the love injector. Oh, it's 204. We have a love injector, right? We do have a love injector. I'd prefer to just like, let's just go to a chef and find some bananas. nothing here haberdasher okay what do you what do you uh vine way for fungus bread <laughs> that's interesting whenever you drink fresh water there's a 25 percent chance you're immune to fungal spores for six hours well isn't that you know a roll of the dice hey i mean i, I drank some water i should be good 25 percent chance I think I'm going to hand in my books. Okay, we got nav phase conjugate. Don't know what that one is. I mean, it sounds pretty self-explanatory. Where are our night vision goggles? My goodness. Um, let's go to Jopa. No, let's hand in our books first. How about that? I got we still have the cave music. I feel like that is uh, a bug. And now we have the nice, the nice music. Skill soft juicer. Huh. I guess we may as well sell that at some point. Uh, grenade launcher is worth 45. 
Did I make friends with the Pope? Con disliked by the Consortium of Fida. I'm sure I did make friends with him, but we'll make friends with him anyway. Yeah, we made friends with him. Pretty sure I am no longer welcome in holy places. Let's just have a quick look. You're welcome in their holy places. Cool, we didn't even lose anything when we uh, made enemies. Okay, let's go ahead and hand all of this over. A good chunk of XP, not enough to level us up. Okay, let's go to Jopa and then I'm going to go to Gritgate and we're going to do some ruin diving. Love that animation so much. Zoop. I, I, do, I love the old one. But the new one is just like chef's kiss. Light rail, resonance grenade, fried processing unit. I don't think we need any of this. What is this? 32 dram? Sure. Geomagnetic disc. Geomagnetic disc. Now that is worth it. Why do you have that archive? Just like, why do you have that? I'm going to trade you um, the data disk to make the geomagnetic disk for the geomagnetic disk. Does that sound fair, Argive? I think that that's fair. Uh, and we're going to give you a heck of a lot of trade goods. Just why in the world do you have that? You know what would be good, actually, is geomagnetic disk um, and... Grenade launchers so that we can still fire grenades and we we can still use the geomagnetic this like, just like the best of all worlds Okay, um One more boop boop done All right, we have a geomagnetic disc Love that for us um, install a cell Let's throw a combustion cell in them. I don't think that they like eat up too much energy We're not gonna worry too much about um, You know like The night vision goggles for now I'm not gonna worry too much about energy. I'm not I I'm fine. I have to make see, make sure that I get that those trade goods back from Argive at some point. That's an interesting development. Geomagnetic disc is great. Love that for us. Okay, we're gonna go to Grit Gate. Um, actually, it would be a good idea to check out the wares here as well. Listen, I know I'm doing a lot of this. It's worth it though. Like every time I check a, a, a Tinkerer's um, wares is. A step closer to having night vision goggles and that's a step closer to actually progressing in um, uh, Bethesda Sousa Jacobo you have co-processor I can't remember what that does Item grants bonus intelligence and provides compute power to the local lattice. Quite nice. And flexi weaved. Uh, I like flexi weaved, but it's not good for us right now. I mean, this is nice. Let's uh, let's buy that. I'm gonna hand over this skill soft. We can't actually make use of that. Okay. Uh, what I should do is actually learn our data disks. Learn, 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 Tinker 3, okay. Nulling, nulling, refractive, refractive. Biodynamic cell? Yes. Precinct navigator? Yes. Reprogrammable recoiler? Yes. Uh, we don't have any of the bits to make any of that, by the way, but we will get there. We know how to make electric, how to mod with electrified. If I knew how to make some better cells, 
I would consider um, like upgrading all of our weapons with electrified. Phase conjugate, antimatter cell. I mean, that would be nice, but we don't have the bits to make that even remotely. Where are the night vision goggles, though, dude? Where are they? Powered exoskeleton. I mean, I, I haven't played with the powered exoskeleton yet. It's something I plan on doing one day. Okay, let's head up. We're going to go. We're going to head up, head up to head down, you know, head up, head up, head up to head down. We're going to go ruin diving. We're going to go. I don't know if I've been here. Yeah, I mean, these are all the telltale signs of we've been here before. Uh, why don't we go like east? I don't think I've been to this one. And we're gonna, you know, we're gonna do some ruin diving. Good old fashioned ruin diving. We need some more chem cells. Oh god, we've got, we've got uh, seed sowers. Looks like that albino ape is doing some work. I don't think they killed them though. Yep, no, they didn't. Can we stop missing, please? You take some slender polyhedral rings. Polyhedral rings are really nice. They're slender as well. I mean, it's the same business. It's still AV. Weird artifact. Oh, plastic for bonnet. What do we got here? Flamethrower. Love me a flamethrower. Okay, this is all good stuff. Heading down. And we're in dueling stance already. So we're just gonna do our thing. Swipe. Disarm. Assemble the jacked small. We got a small trinket. That means that they had a uh, they had a new cell. Oh, nuclear cell! Heck yeah, bud! Heck yes! And we got a full right longsword. I think those are better. Full right is eight to ten versus eight to nine. So full right is actually technically better. We did get a better long sword and we got a nuclear cell. Um, let's go ahead and throw that nuclear cell in our geomagnetic disc. Now, uh, that'll be good when we find, like, I don't want to use that against turrets. Got a low light laser turret. Now I do not want to kill this lad. He's going to 100% make my life rich he's gonna make me rich you know um swipe down Ugh. that is always the worst i have like the worst luck for that but uh, our poor um t turret tinker like places the turrets and then they end up killing him I wonder how expensive it would be to... Oh, we got another nuclear cell. Yeah, that was one of the reasons I, um... Beetle bomb. Beetle bomb, you jerk. He took the, the laser. Get out of here, beetle bomb. Yeah. He, he, uh, he ate the jacked laser pistol. Uh, yeah, one of the reasons I was so ex so excited for that laser turret tinker tinker is because I was pretty sure he was gonna have nuclear cells. He just had an unending supply of nuclear cells on him. We've got chain turrets. Truly, do not care for your business. Apparently, I 
failed to swipe that out of their hand. We've got a sluggo. Did we disarm them? We didn't disarm them. Wow. I'm getting a little cocky, I think. Hmm. Examine this. This is a stasis grenade or mine. We'll disarm it at a 75% chance. And then go ahead and grab it. And we're going to rest. Swipe. We got ourselves a jacked laser rifle. Probably another... Um, yeah, nuclear cell. Exactly. Swipe. Wondering... Um, so the, the, the geomagnetic discs are really nice. We can see what that does now. Bzz, and they took seven damage. Uh, did it not pen? No, it did. There we go. We don't really care about getting chain turrets. I mean, it's nice bits. Whoa, what was all of that? We're on good terms with them. So what are these guys? Diplomacy droid pariah. Loved by pariahs, disliked by pretty much everyone else, but I don't really care about much of that reputation. So let's share a dram with them and get some, get some rep with pariahs. They apparently like recipes. Can ask them about some secrets in a moment, but let's get rid of this gaster. Disassemble this. Uh, I think I'm actually okay. I don't really. Ooh. Chain gun, turret tinker. I don't think that they will give us anything. I mean, uh, chain turrets are nice and all, but um, we, we really want them nuclear cells. Disarm this. Yes. Oh, that didn't work, huh? Swipe. 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 There we go. Just like flicking guns out of every turret here. And I mean, these stasis mines are actually pretty good too. Not sure what we get for them, but you know, it's, it's worthwhile. Let's uh, use our geom. Whoa, that was a nice little business there. The geomagnetic disc basically like homes to multiple characters at once, which makes them so powerful. Well, that uh, ant just killed my uh, chain turret there. Uh, I didn't get any XP from that whatever died there Also, um, whoops the nice thing about the geomagnetic disc is I think it is guaranteed to pen It's one of those uh, odd devices that like basically Can't fail to pen it, it kind of matches the AV of whatever they're attacking Things are going pretty good. We're, we're only one strata deep and we're already fighting some Pretty interesting stuff here. I love I love watching the disc fly around like that. I think I was hitting traipsing mortars as well. That cider? Yeah, it is. And it's only one dram. Uh, saw hander. Saw hander. And our gun is actually fairly low. I'm gonna go ahead and sprint. 
really don't feel like having to deal with this. We're gonna go ahead. Uh, you know what? Let's throw a um, nuclear cell in our. Oh, you know what? Why don't we just use the geomagnetic disk? Because it's not gonna work. That's why. We're gonna start a vision. Um, stunning force worked out okay. They always save against stun, don't they? There we go. I really don't want to have to deal. With having my arm sawed off. Okay, we got a... What is that? Chain gun turret tinker. Eh. I'll, I'll let them do their thing, I guess. I hit them, unfortunately, so now they're just gonna, like, follow me around, though they don't have any weapons. Whatever. I'm just gonna kill them. So what is that? Weird artifact. Examine. Defoliant mine. Disarm. Yep. Oh. Oh, well. So wipe uh did we we did disarm it another nuclear cell oh uh, okay this is a nightmare don't like any of this no sir the ray cat died ah Yeah, we're just gonna geomagnetic this this whole business. Oh, and we have uh, a pretty nasty unshelled reptile as well. We can well, let's release some gas. Fight gas with gas, you know. That's what I say. Okay, things are going well still. Livid Creeper. I'm always I'm always happy to dispense with a Livid Creeper. That's a good cool 500 XP Chain gun turret tinker. We don't care for that. Looks like they've already been busy You're gonna have to forgive me for uh, Doing the stupid thing and just like waiting in front of a turret tinker while my swipe comes off cooldown It is not the smart play, but it is the lazy play and occasionally, that is how I play. We leveled up, 24. We are inspired. We're getting quite a nice chunk of stuff. Let's have a look at our uh, energy cells. Yeah, look at all the stuff we've got so far. I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble chem cells that are low and I guess at this point I'm gonna start treating chem cells like scrap and disassemble all um, because we don't need them anymore we've got nuclear cells now and yeah I mean I know nuclear cells don't last forever trust me I do know that um, but all the same you know if they're gonna last longer than when chem cells are relevant again like by the time I run through the nuclear cells that I've gotten, I was worried that was a uh, rhyme wick. By the time uh, I run out of the nuclear cells that I've gotten, I'll have found more nuclear cells. Like, it's really not a big deal anymore. Is that a beetle bum? Yeah, we got beetle bums. Not a huge fan of beetle bums. I'm going to go ahead and dispense with them. Not a huge fan of beetle bums when I'm trying to, you know, go looting and gathering. What do we got here? Low light laser turret tinker. Love that. They've already been busy. I will encourage you to do your thing, laser turret tinker. I love that that goat folk got zapped. And then went and made enemies to the uh, laser turret tinker. That was, that was great. Yeah. 
totally cool with what's happening here right now um we've got the lo low light t laser turret tinker just kind of like wandering around or like following me around i didn't mean to do that i actually really oh god stop stop that swipe yeah i figured he was gonna die to his own business that's always what happens isn't it I love what's going on right now. Basically, I'm just like positioning the goat folk so that they get hit by the turrets. So I don't get hit by the turrets and I'm also just like wearing them down. Okay, we've got goat folk. We've got a lot of goat folk. Ooh, we've got a legendary goat folk. Um, they've got pretty okay rep. I wouldn't mind making friends with this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and sprint away. I'm gonna see if I can't, um... Oh god, the seed sower, that's a problem. Okay, starting a vision. Starting a vision, and we're gonna do a stunning force. We'll probably make enemies to the albino ape. Looks like we may have actually positioned them right in front of me. This is fine. Uh, I should really salve. I don't know why I'm playing around like this. Tonics, salve. Wait, what? Your mutation, mutant psych physiology reacts adversely to the tonic. The soothing tingling fa fades. Okay, that's nice. No, I don't want to, uh... I don't want to go back. Okay, so what I do want to do... I really wish... I only have the one love injector. Do we have... We do have some concealed love. Okay. I'm um, going to go ahead and rest. You're famished. That's fine. We're about to cook a meal. And I'm going to cook from recipe. Do I not have the congealed love? Oh, I don't have any Hulk honey per preserved. Let's do some Hulk honey injector. We'll do two. Perfect. And then cook from recipe, Hulk honey, and uh, serving of congealed love. Yeah. We're going to learn beguiling so we can beguile a creature. We have two shots to make friends with this legendary goat folk. We've got proselytize and we've got beguile creature. So that's plenty. Um, let's start with proselytization. I'm convinced they have a pretty nasty mutation, I won't lie, but let's try and beguile them. All right, they are beguiled. Um, so now they're friendly. Can we please make friends? I have to get out of here. I'm really hoping they don't die in that mess. Because unfortunately they're enemies to their own friends. Please don't die, goat folk. Oh god, it's a it's a nightmare out there. Ooh, a, a gaslit chisel. Uh nice. Lucky shot. God damn it. No, dude, stop with the gas. You know what? Gas? I'm going to throw some gas at myself. He died. God, that's so... Like, every single time I'm, like, trying to make something happen, Cud is just like, nope, never mind. Every single time it happens. No, no, uh, Kopesh for me. No, uh, friends with Goat Folk. 
that's fine. God, that's frustrating. It would not stop with the stupid acid gas spray. That is so annoying. All right, give me a second here. Okay, um, well, we're almost done here. What is that on the ground? Uh, oh, it's just a carbide longsword, but it's slender. Well, that's fun. Um, chem cell, elastine skull cap. Lots of good stuff here. Like, I know we're getting good stuff, and I shouldn't complain about not making friends with GoFolk, but, like, you know, I, I go the extra mile to, to do good stuff, and Cud just takes it all away, you know? I should have just, like, froze everyone, honestly. I couldn't, uh, but if you're wondering why, I, why didn't I just, like, try and share a dram with him, like, on the spot? Um... It's because he was in combat with his own friends that you, you they won't let you share a dram when they're in combat. So, you know, it's just a it's just bad luck. All right, um I think we're going to end the episode here. If you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button, consider subscribing for more content like this, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.